Hello everyone, I'm Valtraud and I would like to invite you to a quick walk through the golf album I recently finished. It was a kind of a special request from a friend of mine uh, because she is looking for, um, for something where she can store all her golf memorabilia in there. So I decided to make her this book and I'm quite happy how it turned out. For, for the basement, I followed the uh, in the uh, tutorial by Casey Orta uh, King from of the half uh, page mini album. It's it's not made exactly one by one because I decided to make some full pages as well because I think or I had the feeling I could. Uh, put uh, more pockets on there and pockets is something where you can store the things in. Okay, and as well different is the the spine because Kathy Orda is using the uh, craft tags which I couldn't get easily in Spain so I was uh, looking for for, uh, for something else I could use and remember that I once made a flexible spine for my baby girl a scrapbook album and therefore I scored each quarter of an inch uh, graph paper, bend it and uh, burnished it well and then I, I uh, yeah, the result is a quite flexible spine. So what else? Yeah, the paper I mainly used is from Maya Design or two sheets of uh, square paper from Graphic 45, as well as there, as some postcards of the Graphic 45 Sport Edition or for Sport Collection, as well as some images uh, from them. And I also used uh, bought some digital paper for, uh, from an Etsy store. I will uh, leave the link uh, below in the description box. And that's where the, the flag and or flake. I don't know how you pronounce it well. And the green is coming from, yeah. So the uh, back side. This is the spine. It looks like this. It's just green, and that's a. It looks like this from from the top, and this is the back side of the cover, which is, uh, has no decoration except this little label, except. Well, and what else I used was this. Um, is this uh, metal 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 closure from Tim Holtz? But I have to admit, it's not my kind of thing. I'm really fighting or struggling with opening close this. Uh, I can't handle it very well. But well, it's what I've got, and unfortunately, Ursula, my friend, has to live with it. Okay, so let's have a, uh, a look inside. Oh no! Before I start, I would like to say. It's the first time I made, uh, I always used uh, hidden hinge binding from KC Order and I'm quite happy with that. But this is the first time I used the uh, hidden hinge plus and I'm really excited because it's it's re a real good thing. I guess the, for all my first albums I will use this kind of binding. Okay, I'll, I really can recommend it. On the inside cover I made a pocket decorated it with a golf bag. I downloaded from the internet and fussy cut it. And in there there is first the book booklet where you can tuck or where can she tuck her ephemeral pieces in there or into the pocket. And as well because I'm uh, I love to make journals. So I made some small journals for her and this uh, or regular or, or ordinary copy paper, coffees or tea stained, and uh, I put it back into the printer to print the lines on it and inked all the edges. So there is nothing special in there. Just decorated the uh, front and back side with uh, with old book pages out of golf books I found at the uh, second hand shop. Here comes the first page. This is a, is a full pocket or full pocket page. In there are these empty inserts for photos or journaling, whatever she wants to do with it. 
and I made a uh, yeah I made a pockets on top two of them and at the moment they are just told they is lovely uh, uh, graphic 45 cards from the sports collection of course all the, the golf themes there's a lot more but I just took out the the golf ones for, 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 for golf on the back side there is a corner pocket with a flap and the flap is magnetized all she has to do is just take care that always this big tag will be on top of uh, of the things uh, things she is um, she is putting in there because here is the other side of the or the other part of the magnet uh, behind this uh, this paper and you can hear it and it keeps uh, keeps the whole thing uh, closed or shut. The back is um, the, the pa paper in the back is uh, the digital download or one of the digital downloads as well as the, uh, the part of the half pocket and here comes the first half pocket and as well I used for the for this side of the insert I used uh, the, down the download paper you will find the link below in the description box I guess I mentioned that already as well these flags of banners are coming from this uh, collection and this is, a, is an internet download so I made a, a, a photo mat or a journaling card out of it and here is another piece to journal on and on the back then I put, put these uh, Plastic, I think it's plastic sleeves. It's it's from um, photo sleeves. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. And uh, here are two pockets again, decorated with the uh, digital download or with the dig uh, with the download paper, and as well this one. And then here are two tags with sayings on it, and blank on the back side. So on the uh, this is the the back side of the first half page. And this is the uh, pattern paper from the from the uh, sports collection of Graphic 45. As well, this item is coming from, uh, comes from the Graphic 45 paper. And here is the second full page, full pocket page again with the the empty insert and one two three pockets in here i tucked uh, some index cards i created with photoshop and uh, yeah printed out with the, with uh, some golf uh, images as well as this tiny journaling book or journal and here the scorecards are coming from the uh, digital paper collection. I made uh, journaling cards out of it, printed lines on the back. And in the very back of the, the last pocket there is a big journal. This I decorated again or as well with uh, golf uh, with golf images, of course, and inside there are stencil paper with the uh, brick with the brick wall with Tim Holtz brick wall. And on the back side is another pocket. Just one t this time, as well with uh, graphic 45 paper and uh, images. Here I made two photo mats or journaling cards, whatever she wants to make out of it. And this again another journal. This this uh, this time with a tuck spot and. 
Yeah, different pages in there as well. Again, coffee and coffee or tea stain. They look more de tea stained. And again, some uh, images from the or um, book pages from these uh, golf books I found. Here comes the second half page. This is the back. This. Yeah, it's a similar one. <laughs> Just confused me. It's a similar one. Then before in the, on the journal, that's the back side of the uh, the half page insert, and it's a, a similar style. Here I I made a frame where uh, she can slide a photo behind, and again this this. Um, photo sleeves or plastic and on the end uh, a tax board where I tucked uh, again this uh, insert, uh, no, no, insert cut index cards in. On the back side just for or more not just but more for decoration a flap with a magnet, uh, with a mag mag magnet closure, and a tuck spot be, uh, on the inside of the flap to channel, to put a, a little channel um, piece in there. And here's the waterfall for a lot of photos. It's a quite simple one. Here the uh, image on the top, and uh, has a magnet closure and. Uh, all the pages are just so uh, graphed paper blank. So it will hold a lot of photos. This piece and I prefer to put the the magnet underneath the image so it doesn't uh, it, it's not on the top because I don't like that. Again the empty insert and pockets <laughs> on the back side. Okay these are one two pockets this time. And I made uh, some tags with uh, coffee stained um, paper. It was a, a stronger paper. Paper, I think it's one, 120 grams. And I love how they turned out, these tags. And another mat, another mat in the back with a saying on it. And here, of course, a, um, a journal, again with printed lines, coffee stained paper, and here the last uh, half page. This is the back side of the insert, which I like very much. This book side in the, the book lines in the back in there three pockets two more of of these tags again the photo sleeves plastic ones and the belly band and I tucked a um, tag into it into it and on the back side I glued one of these lovely tags on it so that she can journal easily and two index cards as well and slide back in here and that's the, ba the, the back side the back side of the half page and here we have what cat is uh, calls as far as I remember a deconstructed envelope. It comes from the uh, Mr. Benjamin tutorial and I thought it's a, it's a good idea to make one in, in, in the golf book because it's something where she can uh, where she can treasure a lot of things and uh, okay the uh, this image is holds the uh, the wings shut with a magnet closure and you open the wings and then in the middle part you can put all the things in there you 
you like to to keep or she likes to keep in the wings I made small bag uh, pockets sorry because I thought maybe she would like to to keep old uh, club cards so they would fin it fit in here or some business cards from other club members and so I thought that's a perfect place for them so this was this was the uh, the golf album I hope you enjoyed enjoyed the video I thank you for watching and we we'll see us next time bye